12.45 p.m. lunchtime break. You know how it is. You only have one hour to try and cram everything in. You hurriedly eat the ice-cold sandwich from a chiller in boots, pick up dry cleaning and mended shoes, buy some stamps and post letters. Meeting friends is rare, bordering on the impossible. It's the final exquisite six spare minutes that will get you into trouble. You don't plan it. You wouldn't wish it on your worst enemy. I warn you now, if you have a spare six minutes, go and sit on a bench outside or help an old lady with a trolley. For the love of God, don't hang around in a shopping centre. Innocently, if there is such a thing, you walk by the ice cream parlour. You've been on that diet thing for three months. You deserve a treat. Of course, everybody deserves a treat. So you make the fatal mistake of stopping. Now you're on the downward spiral. Next is browsing. Did I mention that I'd been on a diet? Last week I actually deleted the word treat and small piece of chocolate from my dictionary. There should be a health warning poster at these places. Warning, stopping may cause you to browse, salivate and ultimately purchase an ice cream. Do so at your own risk. The silver boxes hold the silky, rugged, creamy wells of delight, just waiting to be scooped into pleasure balls. A faint, icy air hovers above. You've made up your mind, to keep it simple. Just one scoop of strawberry ice cream. There. Easy, isn't it? <laughs> it's very easy, but then you notice it comes with a choice of waffle cone, plain cone or sundae cup. <laughs> they can't get me flustered. It's an easy choice. Sunday cup, no cone, equals no calories. Simple. Do you know how many calories there are in an ice cream cone? No, I don't either. Just testing, but there must be some. Maybe even a lot. Three people ahead. OK. Oh, now I've seen the special offers. Oh, no. Three for two scoops. Banana splits and cherry sundaes. Don't panic, I could split the difference and forget the special and just have two scoops. Well, why not? Now, what to have with the strawberry? Chocolate, oh, too obvious a choice. Vanilla, boring. Mint choc chip, no, you only have that with chocolate. Candy floss, mm, colour coordination is good. Banana, maybe. Two people to go and three minutes left. Maybe I should forget the strawberry altogether. I mean, who said I had to stick to the strawberry? That was the pre-diet me speaking. No, I could go for the caramel and chocolate. If you're going to treat yourself, do it properly. The lady in front just ordered a sundae. Wow, that looks great. Look at all those toppings. Mini jelly drops, chocolate chips, chopped roasted almonds, hazelnuts, and hundreds and thousands. I really like hundreds and thousands. I should buy those rainbow drops more often. No, now I want a double sundae with hundreds and thousands. Hang the consequences. If you're going to be bad, might as well be real bad. One person ahead. So, so it'll be caramel, nope, nope, strawberry and chocolate. Vanilla's plainer works best for toppings though. Okay, vanilla and chocolate and strawberry. No, wait, that's three scoops. Wait, I've missed a whole row of flavours. No! What can I get you? The server says, brandishing a scoop like a tennis racket. My mind has gone totally blank. If only I had the guts to walk away. I, um, well, I tell you what, just give me a double strawberry sundae. There, haven't I been good? No, no, wait, sorry. Can I cancel that? I'll have... I quickly browse the flavours I missed. Coconut, nice. Popcorn, mmm. Rum and raisin. I'll have the triple berry, no, uh, uh, yeah, triple berry, one scoop. The mud chocolate, is that new? Oh, and no, only two scoops. That's just fine. The server wets the scoop and expertly rolls the glistening balls before placing them in the sundae cup. Taking the lid off a tall cylindrical silver container, she asks, Do you want hot toppings? Blimey, I hadn't calculated for this. 
I check my watch. Two minutes over. I, uh, uh, what do you have? Oh no, second thoughts. Uh, oh, okay, is that hot fudge? The server nods impatiently. The silver cylinder smokes quietly. The queue behind me builds. I could feel a small flutter of panic building in my stomach. Oh, go on, why not? In for a penny and all that. She takes an overfull ladle of steaming hot fudge and shits all over my ice cream. Both domes disappear. I realise that the lady in front hadn't made the same choice. I was beginning to think I might need a straw. Squirty cream? she asks. Now, flustered, I can't decide. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. I remember the lady in front had squirty cream on hers, but then you could still see the shape of the ice cream balls underneath. Hers actually looked quite nice and tidy. Mine was just... Well, now it's completely covered in white shit. Do you want toppings? she asked. Well, at this point I feel she's ruined the whole thing. I can't even remember the ice creams I chose. I never wanted hot fudge or squirty cream, really. But I do know I wanted hundreds and thousands on top. Which toppings would you like, madam? she asked, irritated, hovering over the brightly coloured offerings whilst glancing at the enormous queue. So what did I reply? Thousand Island. <laughs> Ice cream is another word I deleted from my dictionary this week. Cresco.